hello everyone um, Kevin here so here on this tutorial or on this video I'll be showing you how to draw something similar to this letter headed paper so I'll be using color draw to draw something similar to this I just got this from the internet and uh, it looks something nice and uh, I think something uh, pretty much fine and uh, it what uh, is presentable something presentable so what I'm going to be showing you, what I'll be doing here, I'll, be, I'll design something similar to this. I'll replace this with, uh, with, uh, with, with my company or my, with my logo, then my company name here, then uh, any other thing, contact information. Then we will now insert this similar something or similar map here on the background. So let's go straight to the points. I'll be using Color Draw 12, yeah, Color Draw 12 to do my work. So here. So first of all, like we've seen in the picture, we see there's uh, this simple design here, so that goes up and down, something like this, and um, they just be, there are just two designs here, or just three designs, one to the logo, making two, then uh, this background, making three, so we can get this on color draw. If I isn't color draw, you can get the design. I'll show you how to get it. So and uh, that is it. So let's open the color draw and start work. So the up design will get that design with the uh, rectangle too. So we draw the rectangle first. Use this tool here, rectangle tool, or you press F6 on your keyboard if you're using Windows. So here we use a uh, uh, shape tool, right click on the object, convert to curve, and right click on it again to curve. So we get this shape like this. I get this how it looks like. Okay. Just to get something similar to that. It might not be exact the same way. So let's just so that is it. This is the most simplest or one of the simplest design you ever do okay so um okay let's uh, uh this is uh should be blue but this i think this blue is more okay let's just use this blue then we'll make it fainter make it faint Use the interactive transparency, transparency tool. Now you, you make sure the object is selected before selecting the uh, interactive transparency tool. You, then you click on uniform. Then I think I is more. It's not all that strong. The design. So um, then our logo. We import the logo. Import. So I want to import picture. There are a lot of it. Let me import this. Or let me use this. Yeah. And we draw our logo here. Then the logo has white background. And from what you can see here, this logo has no background. So this logo is on the blue image. And uh, even the blue image is not all that blue. It somehow it has some effect to it. So this side is this side is darker, and uh, this side has more lighter. So look at that. So and uh, let's remove the background to our image. We'll convert to bitmap. Okay. So it's now on bitmap. Then we'll remove the white background. 
So this uh, how to remove. You click on Bitmap Color Mask Docker window. You click on it. So you click on this color selector. You click on the white section that is sel the color you want to remove. And you apply. See so this operation applies to a bitmap with a soft mask. We replace the original soft. Okay, okay. So let's so let's convert to bitmap again to so get this soft. So uh, this is it. So like we saw in the image, the image we saw the other time, we remove this, remove this transparency, and uh, we kind of uh, use a, uh, we use uh, we use this to fountain fill dialog to give you some effect. So make a custom. So we rotate. We give it an angle 45, 45 degree rotation. Then uh, we choose colors. Okay, let's we're using two colors: white, uh, deep blue, and maybe light blue. Something like that. I think we got something similar to that. Um, but anyway, we can use, we can still use this. Let's remove the border. Click on here, yeah, no outline. And uh, I think at least it's manageable. We can still work out this. What next? What are we? We will have uh, the company name. So this will be bigger. Oh, we'll make this thicker by increasing the outline. The two. Let's take a look at this. We'll bring this to the center uh, under the so um, increase this. So let's give it uh, a kind of uh, shadow. Click on shadow. Yeah, I think that was something nice. So here, I think we have uh, the. So I can put something under here. Break it under. The font size should be around 12. Maybe we'll change the font. A real black. We just give it Arial. Then we'll change the, the case to title case. Press Shift F3. Then title case. I think we have something. So I want to see the so everything should go under the title I mean the company name something like this. So um, I 
that is fine so let's go for the footer the footer that is a uh, this we have independent about this mission global so let's just put something like this oh, let's use ruler so that we get a straight line we'll get our text on a straight oh, you can see copy this let me this is for just tutorial sake then what next we have a phone number PO box here I'll just put down my address and phone number give it fonts 14 Follow by my address. Let's so give it 14 font size. No, give everything 14 font size. And I think something to have something presentable. We separate with the dot. Then we put our uh, email of email and website. I think this will go by site. Maybe duplicate this so that we get the same font size and style. Um, be it at mail dot com. Okay, I'm moving along. So, to, to reduce the font size, that we have something that fits. Now to get lowercase, shift F3, get everything to lowercase. Then the website. Say brilliantinfo.com. Make sure that everything is in lowercase. Press Shift F3. Choose this lowercase. And I think um, I think we are fine. So what's left? Maybe we will now separate them. We will now indicate separation. I think there's. The separation is dot 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 dot. So let's use dot on our own as well. This dot. Okay, I can't even see what I'm doing. It's fine. So we would duplicate this so that we get into our get into another place. Put it here as well. Dot then dot I think that is pretty much what we want. 
so we want to make sure they are in the same line I think this one is a bit above the line so um, ok delete the line the ruler so that is uh, pretty much uh, how to design this and here we've gotten something almost similar to the uh, one the sample we had so I think uh, it, the thing only thing remaining is to uh, maybe maybe the coloring on uh, I think that is the only thing color give it sky blue and uh, though it depends on the color of your design let me just leave this one this way so to import that uh, map of it in press shift F F11 on my keyboard shift F11 then I go to web dings under font choose web dings let me check if this is here so on that code page you choose all characters so let's check if it is here it might not be here so let's just check okay what we got here um, I don't think this is one so go to go down a bit web wing things so on that wing things let's check we may not get it here if we don't get it we will edit the other one we saw we didn't get it here it's not here so web things um, let's go gently okay this is all we got here okay okay this is what we are looking for we can drag it to the area mm, I think then we now stretch it inside this stretch it out so wide and um, I think that is fine that is what we are looking for and we got it and uh, let's look at the original design the, our, our blueprint so the blueprint has this exactly yes everything is fine uh, let's still stretch a bit to make it bigger let's still stretch this a bit okay it's too much um, okay we now have same exact design but at least we have something to, to work with we have something to talk about so um, So we can let's make it this way. Then we see we'll give it a background color of some percent, ten percent black. Then we'll remove the high lean. So we'll remove the uh, border, the outline. So that is the perfect uh, letterhead paper. So maybe you make this more fainter. Um, maybe use uh, this uniform so I think it's more perfect and it's more brilliant to work with so um, if you watch what I do just follow this step and uh, you have a wonderful letterhead of paper for your business or for your company or for organization whatever it is so that is it so um, thank you for watching these steps and uh, I think in the next tutorial or in the next video I'll be showing how to make complimentary card and um, and much more things uh, to come. So thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.